Hello, welcome to my Let's Play Wasteland 2, the Director's Cut. So what has changed in this version of the game? Well, there was a major graphics overhaul. Quirks and perks were added and so were precision strikes. There is a lot of new voice acting available and the interface and controls had a major overhaul. Also, there was a balance pass for items, weapons and so on. So a lot has changed. Now I did play this game at release, but I only did it until the high pool missions. I did finish those, but after that I waited for patches and waited some more and some more and now here we are with this new and improved version so let's check it out and let's start a new game and of course we will be playing with a custom party so let's get on with the character creation. Yeah, create a custom squad. Now I'll be right back with the first character and there she is, Vera. Let's check out the character and the interface. This is the new interface. Vera will be the brains of the team. 10 intelligence, so 5 skill points per level. Now this team will have a low charisma and low luck. It's not a very likable team. Speed will be 6 for all characters. Vera knows computer science, field medic and mechanical repair. And she will be fighting with a submachine gun. And let's check out the new quirks. There are quite a few available, let's quickly check them out all. I will just highlight them and leave it at that. For Vera I have chosen Aesthetic, 5 skill points and 1 attribute point at game start. But she cannot equip trinkets. Let's quickly go through all the available quirks. Now some of them have really nasty drawbacks, so... It's a question of how useful it will be. And this one... No, the next one... May be a little bit overpowered even. I will not be using this. Plus 2 to all attributes on even numbered character levels and minus 2 on odd numbered character levels. The fainting goat quirk. The heavy handed one, this one I will be using on my melee character. Plus 15% base damage on all melee attacks, minus 50% base critical chance. Now the next one. Manic Depressive is a random one. There are a few quirks who have random properties. Yeah, this will be something for a second playthrough, I'm guessing. Oh, 
Tunists. Now at character creation you can choose one of those or you can choose to not have a quirk but I think it's maybe interesting to have a few quirks in the team not on all team members but Here you can never get normal critical hits, that's a pretty nasty drawback. And so is minus 30% base speed. This seems a nasty drawback. Most fights will last longer than two turns, I'm guessing. And another random one. And this one, the last one will be used on one of the characters. You get three action points and 25% damage extra when you are drunk. So that may be interesting. And Vera will be ascetic, so we have some extra points to work with at game start. Now let's create our next character, which will be a sniper. It's bird, no quirks. This guy has excellent coordination, increased chance to hit, and good amount of action points. Speed will be six. It will be six on all the team members. And luck and charisma will also be one. This guy will be fighting with sniper rifles and knows a thing or two about lock picking and safe cracking, which ties in with his excellent coordination. So that's Bud, he will have no quirk. And then we are ready to make our Malie character. This will be Zed. Yeah, the appearance and the portrait do not match very good, but I'll work with it. Strength of 8, so high constitution and high carry weight. Speed again will be 6 and charisma and luck will be 1. This guy knows weaponsmithing. Demolitions. And he will be brawling. As a quirk, he has heavy handed, so 15% plus 15% base damage on all melee attacks and minus 50% base critical chance. And finally, we can create 
what is supposed to be the team leader, Max. This character is a little bit more middle of the road. No attributes above six. And the only character or team member with at least some charisma. Well, he has a good value. Six for the bonus leadership radius. This guy will be using assault rifles. And will have perception and leadership. And as a quirk, we will go for way of the squeeze-ins. So extra action points and damage when drunk and no critical chance and a little less speed when sober yeah if it is really worth it well we will see that in the game let's see how this works out so this is the squad let's start a new game Now on Supreme Jerk you have to, well, more or less flawlessly min-max your team and um, I'm not doing that so let's play on Ranger difficulty. Yeah, and let's start a new game. What comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion, constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it, or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. Now, everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. They've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name, a proud name, the Desert Rangers.
Now, Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. Nor will he have ever died in vain. Or unavenged. Thank you, recruits. And there we are. Now let's quickly talk to General Vargas. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight-up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. The mission is this, search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers, specifically. It said it was coming for us. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been giving us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. There you go. Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a desert ranger, and we won't let you in. The hard-ass approach, huh? 
Well, you might get what you want from some folks in the waste through intimidation, but it doesn't always work, particularly with old hard asses like myself. You want to kick down our doors, go ahead, give it a try. But I ain't pissing myself just because you growled at me. Good luck out there, recruits. So there we are, good to go. Let's check out the character screens. And how they have changed. It's certainly a tidy screen. Now let's check out Vera. She should have an extra attribute point. There it is. Let's use it for awareness. More combat initiative. Yeah, let's do it. And let's check out the skills. Let's go for an extra submachine guns and an extra mechanical repair. Yeah, let's go with that. And I'll save the one remaining point. Here you can see the perks. Some are already available. We have zero points to spend, but these are the perks we unlocked already. On this character. And here you can see the complete list. Tons and tons of perks to choose from, eventually. So that's pretty nice. And this is the new interface for the logbook. Yeah, we need to find ACES logbook. And the repeater units. Great. Now let's quickly check out the camera angles and zoom levels. And the camera rotation. So this is how it all looks in the new version of the game. Now finally let's check out the inventory screen. Yeah, take the shovel and let's check out the inventory screen. So that's it, ready to go, but that is something for the next session, so I'll leave it at this and I'll see you in the next one.